G'day, welcome back to the channel. Just a very quick video. I'm just making a board up for the ADS-B alarm. This is just uh, very, very prototypey stuff. See, I've got a little board here. I've just hand-drawn a pattern. And I'm etching it in a solution of ferric chloride here on the coffee bench at the workshop. So everyone will get a bit of ferric chloride in their coffee. It's good for them. Iron. Everyone needs a bit of iron. And uh, so this board is going to be the buzzer board because it didn't have a buzzer that would operate from DC so I had to make a little circuit to make a buzzer go for the very loud alarm sound I'm trying to get from the ADS-B alarm. So there is the board and that blue is just the, the ink that's resisted the etch and it's just a piece of fiberglass board, cheap fiberglass board from Banggood. <laughs> so now all I have to do is just get rid of the blue and then leave the copper and I can start soldering stuff to it. And there's no holes in this board, it's all going to be basically just Soldered on the top, it's a very quick and dirty prototype. Show you what that looks like in a minute. So here we go, back on the bench, you can see the copper, nice shiny copper there. I'm gonna tin this now with my soldering iron because otherwise the copper just corrodes. And th this is really old school because what happens these days is most people just do a layout on a computer, fire it off to China and in a week or two you get back a board that's all nicely prepared with silk screen and stuff. But I wanna get this turned around as quickly as possible so I'm not waiting for that. And it really doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to work to prove the whole thing and I've done the circuit I did the circuit the other day and then I breadboarded it up here just to make sure it was all going to work properly so now I'll solder the pieces on here and we'll stick it on the back of the ADS-B alarm and we'll see if it makes a noise and here we go she's not pretty but she's functional <laughs> that's the little board there uh, this little tuning a uh, little resistor there I put that in so I can adjust the frequency so that it's resonant with the little buzzer because you get a lot more noise out of these things if you Tune them to a resonance, um, you can significantly increase, increase the output. Now there's three wires come off this board, it goes off to the Raspberry Pi, go onto the pin headers, uh, basically just the power, and the Raspberry Pi is going to basically trigger the alarm by raising a voltage on one of the, the output pins, and that will cause this little buzzy thing here to make a noise, hopefully. I don't think it's going to be loud enough outside, but, you know, it's like, hey, got to start with something. I will find something much more effective for the final build so you'll be able to get the best thing and of course you could always just have a speaker and and amplify it more if you wanted to but uh, this will do this will do for starters you want a closer look here you go Ooh, focus come on focus this is handheld look at that isn't that a delight you don't do you don't see that much these days these little birds nesty things um, made with three hole components on used as surface mount on a hand etched circuit board yeah this is not normal fare I've got a couple of transistors and a NE555 which is just in a stable multi vibrator to make the noise that transistor just uh, takes the output of the 555 and amplifies it a bit or makes it switch off to the transducer there and on this side this transistor just buffers the output from the Raspberry Pi because Raspberry Pi's can't switch a lot of power so what we do is we just use a little transistor to amplify the amount of switching that the Raspberry Pi can do and that's it it's really quite simple. There's not much to it, is there? And there is the train wreck that is the bench. Don't look, don't look. So now I'm going to take all this stuff home and I'm going to make a few changes to the software and we're going to test it out. Because um, where's the, here we go. Oh, here is the, oh, here is the uh, ADS-B alarm itself. And that little board's just going to fit on the back. In fact, I'll stick it on the back before I go home. And then I'll just run the wires through. And tomorrow, which is supposed to be good weather, and there should be a lot of people here flying, we will test it out and see if it's going to do the biz. And I have changed the software so it doesn't show up those planes that are miles and miles away now. It just deals with the local traffic. And it worked before. We had it here out here this morning. Uh, Ron was here and the the thing, it picked up the aircraft that was coming in to do a landing and we went outside and there it was. It was an aircraft exactly where it should have been. Um, so stay tuned for tomorrow. We've got some, hopefully, lots of flying vids and also proof of the pudding. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.